All right, so let's start with uh, part A. So for part A, um, what is the ratio of the sides? So the ratio of the sides will be equal to um, 20 over 8. And that will be equal to 2.5. And then part B, the area of triangle ABC is 20. So area is 20. Uh, calculate the area of triangle DEF. So you want the area of this triangle here. So we can start by finding the ratio of the areas. So the ratio of the areas will be equal to 2.5 squared, which is 6.25. So what does this mean? What does this ratio of uh, areas mean? It basically means that the area of triangle DEF is 6.25 times the area of triangle ABC. So basically the area of the larger triangle is 6.25 times the area of the smaller triangle. Yeah. So this means that uh, the area of uh, triangle uh, DEF is equals to 6.25 times area of triangle uh, ABC. So 6.25 multiplied by uh, area of triangle ABC, which happens to be 20, gives us 125, and these are centimeters squared. Okay, so that's the reasoning behind it. The ratio of the areas basically tells us how many times one triangle is. Uh, uh, be large as compared to this smaller in terms of areas basically. All right. So in number two, we have um, this triangle. So I'm just going to separate them so that you can be able to visualize what's going on. So I'll have the smaller uh, triangle and the bigger one or the larger one. So basically here we have A, B, C, and here we have A, D, E. Now the length here is five, and here it's 12. And these are similar triangles, yeah? Now the area of ABC is seven. So area is seven. And basically they want us to find the area of the larger, um, Triangle. So let's start by finding the ratio of the sides. So the ratio of the sides will be equal to 12 over 5, which will be 2.4, which means the sides of the larger triangle are 2.4 times this, uh, the lengths of a smaller uh, triangle. And then we go to the ratio of the areas which will be 2.4 squared. That will be 5.76. Now, this is the moment where we need to understand what the ratio of areas mean. The ratio of areas mean that the area of the larger triangle is 5.76 times the area of the smaller triangle. So basically, area of ADE is equal to 5.76 times the area of uh, ABC. Now 5.76 times area of ABC, which happens to be seven, will give us 40.32. That's basically how you solve this question. Okay. Number three, 
So in number three, we have, um, again, two similar triangles. And I explained this in my first lessons in similar shapes. You can check on my YouTube channel. So basically, I'm going to um, separate these triangles, the smaller one here, and the larger one. Now, the smaller one is a um, ABD. Then uh, the larger one is a CE. And the corresponding lengths that we have are 8 and 16. And basically, that's all that you're given. And also the area for this. So let's just add this. So area is equal to 25 centimeters squared. Okay. So this is the information that we have, and we are required to calculate the area of trapezium CBDE. So this is this is basically what's required. This trapezium here. Yeah. This is the trapezium that we are required to calculate. Anyway, so let's start by um, working out um, the area of SEE, and then we can be able to figure out how to find the area of trapezium. So we'll start by finding the ratio of the uh, sides. So the ratio of the sides will be equal to 16 over 8, which is 2, which implies that the ratio of the areas will be equal to 2 squared, which will be 4. So area of SEE, the larger, basically, triangle, will be equal to 4 multiplied by the area of the smaller one. And that will be equal to 100 centimeters squared. So we can be able to calculate the area of the trapezium because, because to find the area of the trapezium, we just need to find the differences between these two areas. So area of the trapezium will be equal to 100 minus 25, which will be 75 centimeters squared. Okay, uh, number four. Here again, we have similar shapes. Um, the smaller one has an area of 210. So the area of this guy here is 210 centimeters squared. And we have some corresponding lengths. Anyway, so find the area of the larger one. So we can start by the, finding the ratio of uh, uh, sides. So the ratio of sides will be equal to 26 divided by 20. And that will be equal to 1.3. So the ratio of the areas will be equal to 1.3 squared, which will be 1.69. Uh, so the area of the larger one uh, which is you know by the way the area of the larger shape is 1.69 times the area of the smaller shape that's the meaning of the ratio of the areas as I explained before so the area of the larger one will be 1.69 applied by 210 which will be 354.9 um, centimeters squared. And that's basically how um, you work out um, the required area. OK, number five. Um, here uh, we have two supermarket uh, prize tickets. 
um, and they're similar. So the area of the smaller one is seven. So area for this is seven centimeter squared. So calculate the area of the larger one. So what we can do is we can start by finding the ratio of sides. So basically ratio of sides or lengths. Let me use the word lengths. Makes more sense in this context. That will be equal to six over two, which is three. So the ratio of the areas will be equal to 3 squared, which is 9. So area of uh, larger ticket um, area of the larger ticket will be equal to we know that it's nine times the area of the smaller ticket from the ratio of the areas. So that will be nine times two, uh, sorry, nine times seven, which is 63 um, centimeters squared. 